Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can use the dig command in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually the dig command stands for Domain Information Grouper and it's a tool that allows you to query the DNS servers for information about for example a host or MX servers which are email servers or DNS servers and other information so let's begin so for example let's use the deck command in order to query the Yahoo domain so I will tap deck then my domain name which is yahoo.com okay so if I hit enter as you can see here the output actually is divided into three sections so the first section as you can see here gives me some information about the tick command itself the version of the tick command and also it shows me status which is no error which means my query has been successful and gives me also the number of answers as you can see here it's three which means I get three results okay so the next section actually is the question section as you can see here I'm querying the a hosts which are actually just IP addresses and the most important section is the answer section as I told you before I get three results and here you can see the IP addresses that I get okay because by default it will query the a host and give me the IP addresses and finally you see another section that, that uh, just gave some statistics about the query okay so as I told you before it can use to query for a host but we can just also query for MX servers which are email servers so in order to do that all I have to do is to add MX at the end of my command here as you can see like before statute is no error which means successful I get three answers and over here you can see those three answers okay I can also query for name servers I repress MX by NS and here you can see that I get six results and here is the list of the name servers for the domain yahoo.com okay if you want to get actually just a short version of this result okay without the other sections that just the answer section you can just type for example no all plus answer okay and we hit the enter as you can see we have just the answer section now you can also type if you want just plus short I get the same result but this time I have just IP addresses okay if you want to get all the results I mean all the a host all the MX servers all the name servers and other information you can add at the end the keyword any as you can see here I have a bunch of information here I get in my answer section I get the a hosts which are actually the IP addresses then I get the same IP addresses but this time with IP version 6 format okay as you can see here then by it's followed by the MX servers which are email servers for the domain then the name servers 
and finally the text ok so I got all the results using this the command and as before I can also type plus short in order just to get answers ok but I have to add any keywords ok so let's return back to my first command here which gave me the a host as you can see here it's using this server for querying but I can use another name server if I want all I have to do is to after the tick command I have to make an arrow mask then any name servers that I want for example here I can use the Google name server okay and I hit enter as you can see this time the server I'm using for querying is the Google server or the Google name server as you can see here 8.8.8.8 .8 so that was just a brief introduction to this useful and very important comment to query DNS name servers as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing Bye-bye.